All right, thank you guys. Welcome to our college basketball video here today for Sunday, March 7th. And if you're new here, I just want to take a quick time out to welcome you to my channel. My name is Brock Page, and I do sports picks for free right here on YouTube. And if you end up really liking what you see here today, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and join the Brock Page family. I'd love to connect with you. I'd love to have you here. And with that, guys, we got ourselves a pretty good slate of college basketball action here today. We're going to go ahead and start with the Memphis Tigers taking on the Houston Cougars, 12 p.m. Eastern tip-off at the Fertitta Center. Now, Houston's the 10-point favorite at home here. Totals 133.5. And, and if you like Memphis in an upset on the road here, they're plus 350 on the money line. Now, we are 7-1 and one in our last eight crowd-pleaser teasers on my Patreon website. We're also 11-1 in our last dozen extra daily picks on that Patreon page as well. And if you want to access today's extra daily pick, it's only going to cost you just $2.99. Now, we currently have over 1,200 members currently signed up and active on that page. And if you want to join those folks and get in on the action, link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock Page. Now, Memphis is currently on a six-game winning streak, 9-1 and one straight up in their last 10. The Tigers are in the top five in the nation in defensive field goal percentage. They're also in the top three in defending the three ball. Landers Nolly is scoring 13 points a game along with three boards and 23 total steals. Meanwhile, DeAndre Williams is also averaging double digits along with six and a half boards and three assists. The 6'9 junior also has 28 total steals and eight blocks. The Tigers are giving up just 62 points per contest, and they're holding their opponents to just 26% shooting from beyond the arc. Now they're taking on a Houston team who's failed to cover the point spread in eight out of their last 10 meetings with Memphis. The Cougars also failed to cover the number against the likes of Wichita State and East Carolina within the past month or so as well. And out of these teams' last 10 head-to-head -head meetings, the Cougars have... Uh, the Cougars actually lost five of those. So, uh, you know, as good as they are, this is a fairly competitive uh, matchup, at least historically, over the past couple of seasons or so. Now, total-wise, Houston's last three straight all got over the total. Six and one of the over in their last seven. The Cougs have also gone eight and six of the over in their contest at the Fertitta Center. I'm going to lean toward the Memphis Tigers, plus 10, and the under 133 and a half. Next game, Florida, Tennessee, 12 o'clock Eastern tip. The Tennessee Volunteers are minus 5.5, totals 136. Now, the Tennessee Vols are in the top 20 defensively in points allowed, top 30 in defensive field goal percentage. They're also 12-3 and three straight up on their home court. And they give up just 62 points per contest in that same category. Jaden Springer is averaging almost 13 a game along with three rebounds and two assists. Meanwhile, Victor Bailey Jr. is scoring double digits a night himself, along with a couple of boards. They're taking on a Florida team who failed to cover the point spread in four out of their last six. The Gators also find themselves allowing 75 points a game when they travel. Now, scoring-wise, Florida's 6-3 to the over as the official road team. Tennessee went 4-3 and three to the over in their last seven themselves. I'm going to lean toward the Tennessee Volunteers, minus 5.5, and, and the over 136. Next ball game, Big Ten action. I'm talking about Wisconsin versus Iowa, 12.30 p.m. Eastern tip-off. The Iowa Hawkeyes are minus seven, totals 144. Now, Iowa's on a two-game winning streak, six and one straight up in their last seven. The Hawkeyes are in the top three in the country in scoring on average per game, top five in offensive three-point percentage. Luka Garza is scoring nearly 24 points a game along with eight rebounds and 41 total blocks on the season. The 6'11 NBA prospect, pretty much a, uh, a first-rounder here. Uh, he's also drilling 45% of his three-pointers. Meanwhile, junior guard Joe Wieskamp is scoring over 15 points a night himself, along with six rebounds. Now, Wieskamp is also drilling over 48% of his three-pointers as well. The Hawkeyes are scoring over 89 points a game on their home court, and they're making 40% of their three balls collectively as a team. Now, they're taking on a struggling Wisconsin club who's on a two-game losing streak and also lost six out of their last nine. Wisconsin is also playing just 500 basketball on the road this season, 
and they're averaging a piddly 65 points per contest when they travel as well. One final thing to note here, Wisconsin is making only 29% of their three-pointers away from their home court. And when it comes to the number in this one, Wisconsin saw their last two straight get over the posted total. I was 60% to the over at the Carver Hawkeye Arena. I'm going to lean toward the Iowa Hawkeyes minus seven in the over 144. Next matchup. It is going to be Drake versus Loyola Chicago. Two o'clock Eastern start time at the Enterprise Center in St. Louis. The Loyola Chicago Ramblers are the seven and a half point favorite in this matchup here. Totals 126 flat. Now LCU's an impressive 23 and four overall for the season. 10-4 straight up in their contest away from their home court. The Ramblers are in the top three in the country defensively in points allowed per contest. They're also in the top three in the nation in defensive rebounding as well. Cameron Crutrig is scoring almost 15 points per contest. Six rebounds, three assists for the 6'9 senior. Loyola's allowing just 55 points per contest. And they're actually making nearly 51% of their field goals offensively as well. Now they're squaring off against a Drake squad who's really been affected by uh, the loss of their top scorers. Shanquan Hemphill, he was responsible, uh, responsible for 14 points per contest. Meanwhile, Roman Penn nearly scored a dozen. Uh, Hemphill, actually their leading scorer, uh, and Penn their third leading scorer. So that's a big blow to them. The Bulldogs have uh, certainly struggled with Loyola in recent meetings. They dropped seven out of their last 10 head-to-head -head contests with the Ramblers. And out of Drake's three losses on the season, two of them did come away from home. Now, they're making just 33% of their three-pointers when they travel as well. And when it comes to the total on this one, once again, not really sure who's going to do the scoring for Drake here. They're also 6-5 and five at the under as the official road team. Now, Loyola on the other side, they saw 7 out of their last 11 away from home stay under the line themselves. I'm going to lean toward the Loyola Chicago Ramblers, minus 7.5 and, and the under 126. All right, next ball game in the Big 12. I'm talking about Texas Tech versus Baylor, 4 p.m. East. The Baylor Bears are minus 8, totals 137.5. Now, Baylor is currently leading the NCAA in three-point percentage. They're also in the top three in scoring. Baylor's making, well, they're scoring over 89 points a night on their home court, and they're making 45% of their three-pointers there. Jared Butler's dropping over 17 a night, along with three rebounds and five assists. Now, the junior guard has also recorded uh, 47 total steals, and he makes nearly 45% of his three balls. Meanwhile, Maceo Teague is also scoring over 14.5 points a night himself, along with four rebounds. Baylor is a perfect 10-0 straight up on their home court, and they give up just 64 points per contest there as well. They're taking on a Texas Tech program who failed to cover the point spread in five out of their last eight. Now, the Red Raiders are covering just 30% of their ball games away from their home court, and they allow their opponents to make nearly 41% of their three-pointers in that same category. Now, total-wise, Tech's 5-3 and three to the over as the official road team. Baylor's 60% to the over on their home court. I'm going to lean toward the Baylor Bears, minus 8, and the over 137.5. Next contest, talking about some Big Ten action a little bit of a rivalry here. Michigan versus Michigan State. 4.30 p.m. Eastern start time in East Lansing. The Michigan uh, Wolverines are minus 8.5 away from home. Numbers 137. But despite their overall record here, the Spartans of Michigan State, they've been pretty good at the Breslin Center this season. 11-3 straight up as the official home team. Just 30% shooting from beyond the arc they're holding their opponents to there as well. Aaron Henry scoring over 15 points per contest, along with five boards and three and a half assists. Now, the 6'6 junior has also recorded 32 total steals, along with 34 total blocks. Meanwhile, senior guard Josh Langford is averaging double digits a game himself, along with three and a half rebounds as well. Sparty's getting up just 67 points per contest at the Breslin Center, and they're also holding their opponents to just 39% shooting from the field there. The Sparty's uh, the Spartans, excuse me, they're taking on a uh, Michigan squad who, make no mistake, very good, arguably the best team in the country. But uh, once again, the Spartans are taking on a Michigan squad 
who failed to cover the number in four out of their last six meetings with Michigan State. And if you're into historical trends, the Wolverines don't play well at the Breslin Center. They've actually dropped 17 out of their last 20 at the Breslin Center. The Wolverines are allowing their opponents to make nearly 38% of their three-pointers when they travel. And when it comes to the total on this one, Michigan is 7-2 to the over in their last nine meetings with Sparty. I think uh, Michigan State should be able to keep this one close. Give me the Michigan State Spartans plus 8.5 in and the over 137. And with that, guys, we're going to dive into our next and final matchup for the show. It's actually not on our big screen behind me, but it is going to be Texas versus TCU. 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off. The Texas Longhorns are the 7.5-point favorite on the road here. Totals 136, juice to the over. And if you like the Horn Frogs in an upset on their home court here, they're plus 270 for some money line cash. Now, TCU's on a two-game losing streak, just 3-10 and 10 straight up in their last 13 ball games. Even worse, TCU's a pitiful 1-11 and 11 against the spread on their home court this season. And they're averaging just 67 points per contest. Now, they're taking on a Longhorn program who's been pretty solid away from home this season. Eight and two straight up in their 10 games away from their home court. And uh, that actually includes a few neutral site contests uh, in the mix there. The Longhorns are in the top 20 in defensive field goal percentage on the road. Top 15 in defending the three ball away from home as well. Andrew Jones is scoring over 14 and a half points a game, along with four rebounds and a couple assists. Meanwhile, Courtney Ramey scoring nearly 14 points a game himself, along with three rebounds and four assists as well. The junior guard is also drilling 44% of his three-pointers. The Longhorns give up just 66 points per contest when they travel, and they're holding their opponents to just 28% shooting from beyond the arc in that same category. Now, total-wise, the Longhorns are 60% to the over in their last 10, 14-9 and nine to the over for the entire season, Meanwhile, the Horned Frogs are 7-5 to to the over in their dozen contests at home. I'm going to lean toward the Texas Longhorns, minus 7.5, in the over 136. And with that, guys, we're going to dive into our quick pick recap, once again brought to you by my Patreon website, where we are 7-1 in our last eight crowd-pleaser teasers on that Patreon page. We're also 11-1 in our last dozen extra daily picks on that Patreon site as well. I like Memphis plus 10 under 133 and a half. I like Tennessee minus five and a half over 136. Iowa minus seven over 144. Loyola Chicago minus seven and a half under 126. Baylor minus eight over 137 and a half. Michigan State plus eight and a half over 137. Before I give you my next and final free pick for the show, please do me a favor if you're new here and hit that subscribe button. If you ended up enjoying today's video, I'd love to stay connected to you. Give me the Texas Longhorns, minus 7.5, and, and the over 136. And with that, guys, just one final reminder that all the content on my YouTube channel is for entertainment purposes only. I don't make any guarantees of any kind. And with that, we're going to dive into some shout-outs to our top 10 YouTube commenters over the past couple of days or so. Shout-out to Calvin Moulton, Ziggy007. Super cool bitch cool. <laughs> Shout out to Renisha Brown. Uh, the U-Dog Ulysses Hayes. Always good to see Ulysses Hayes in the comments section. Shout out to Chuck Pinter, Jaquise Bellamy, Som Ving Longway, Evan Poole, and last but certainly not least, got to give a shout out to my man, McKee Moses. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon. If you guys decide to get a package here today, just keep in mind we'll bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. But most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, happy Sunday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash brockpage.